Tabanchu bus route project in the Free State is playing an integral part of an infrastructure that is stimulating economic growth and reducing social and economic costs within the area. The Department of Police, Roads and Transport within the Free State uh, it's in support of the initiatives where we need to drive local economic development, eradicate uh, poverty and ensure that uh, there are job opportunities on all infrastructure programs that we are implementing. This project has been designed in such a manner that targets of job creation are met, particularly in the employment of youth and women. In the process of design, we have um, tried to design it in such a manner that both uh, the targets that are usually required for of job creation of uh, gender equality and uh, youth and, and adult are addressed on this project. A labor-intensive approach to this project has ensured the involvement of the community and enhanced skills development. When we designed uh, this project, we were looking at uh, ways in which we can do a labor-intensive project. So we looked uh, at ways in which we can uh, avoid uh, to more of uh, conventional ways of constructing the road. So the first thing was to, instead of doing a tarred road, we decided to do paving. Because on paving, we, you create more employment, because it will be labor intensive. If you were to look into our history, a project of this magnitude were done conventionally through the use of machines, which on, 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 on their own, they are not in support of ensuring that there is job creation and decent uh, job opportunities. This type of work uh, creates an opportunity for both parties, for both the contractors, but also for, for the people that work for them. In terms of the skills development, in terms of whether it is administrative skills, engineering skills, um, you know, health and safety skills, and these are the skills that they, they can utilize even if those contracts are over. The system here is we will be, more Procon will be the project managers, there's no contractor, the community is the contractor. We just hire the people, the CLO and the councillors, they give us the general workers from uh, the, the houses which we know there is no income. Then all those people, we train them, then we use, they, they work as the contractor, the community itself. Most women are employed in this project, thus addressing the vicious cycle of poverty experienced by women in rural communities. If you were to look at uh, the, 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 the women uh, content in, in terms of uh, proportion, uh, we've got many of them, uh, which in our history, most of the women were disadvantaged. They were not involved in terms of job opportunities and youth and so forth. For the Department of Transport and Zama Sonke, now I'm happy and I'm glad to work with Zamuna Kalebua. I am not interested in the project. Because the most of people 90% of the material used in this construction, such as curbs and concrete cubes, have been manufactured locally, further boosting job creation. For example, the curbs. Normally they are manufactured, uh, then you buy them already, then you just come and install them on site. But here we built a plant whereby they manufacture them. It's only cement and crusher dust and stones. They mix them, then they, they make the cabs on site, then they will install them. All this to create employment. Members of the community have also benefited through accredited training programs, thus adding an advantage that they could easily be employable once the project ends. We have also identified that some of these projects, the people that actually work on these projects, they must be able to uh, uh, work beyond the project. So the starting point was us identifying uh, the skill set. Once uh, we had been uh, assisted by the council and the community to identify the people that were going to work here, we assessed their skill set. And what we recognized was that for this specific uh, construction methodology we wanted to do, it was important that we start with the training. Before they started working, all the general workers were taken for an accredited training which specializes in laying of cabs, laying of uh, edge beams and laying of paving. They were trained for the theory and they got uh, accredited training 
certificates. Since we feature among the feature bankers to go school on Saturday, we go to Thursday, we make some vitamins, we go eat cakes. Then we make a promotion, we go to the promotion, we go to the supervisor. We go to the school, we go to the park, we go to the PC, we go to the registry, we go to the speed. We go to the school, we go to the society at all. So we go to the school a lot. As a lady feature among the the school is not a one of the celebrities. We go to the news, we go to the Kenya PV, Kwanza skiri, Dawa skiri tu, amana kifo ala PV. Then kazi ba lugha Xbox wana sisi tu adwa, then ni di HB mi. Kazi ba kina na wake kina liskili sisi singa dam pia sali kifikamu. Hobaki yezam tu nengi sisi kasi tivi. Before I'm kipere kama ni kisina skili sana, so now kina liskili sawa paka PV no, I'm happy kani kaso ni because important tunthi kiyezam nchi. With the skills they got from this project and the certificates we gave them, which are uh, accredited, they can go to other companies where they are, they are roads projects. They can look for employment there. They can also start their own small companies for construction with the same skills they have learned from this project. Gratitude is expressed by the community who had a difficult time accessing basic services like schools and clinics before the road was constructed. The taxis they were reluctant to come this site also because of the road condition but now they are using this road frequently and the other problem was during rainy days the road was very slippery also even with the ambulance when they came to the clinic they were struggling <laughs> We had a lot of problems like the prop shaft of the buses that are being uh, uh, exchanged in a short period of time because of the gravel road and we could not reach some of our clients as the passengers. Now that we have a paving, it's, it's, it's much better. Without accesses, it will be very difficult for our communities to access important facilities such as uh, cemeteries, uh, schools, uh, uh, educational programs uh, where our government uh, tends to put more emphasis that we need to support. <laughs> To the people of Sihamba Songe, I would like to thank them because now they have made a accessibility to, to our clinic very easy for our patients. I would like to say to, to, to Sihamba Songe and the Department of Road and Transport, Thank you a lot about the, what you are doing for our road. Schools have seen a lot of improvement in late coming because of this road and vehicle maintenance costs have dropped. We are so grateful to have this road. The late coming, due to that previous road before this construction, your majority of us, we arrived late at school. And then since they have developed this road, I take five minutes from where I'm staying to school. It has really contributed a lot. We have really benefited from this road because in the past we used to struggle. Even the teachers who would travel from the location to come to school, it was very difficult to take a taxi to come to this uh, uh, location. I have not changed my tire since the road has been developed. And then this thing of wind alignment due to the potholes and the like, since you have this new road, really I've saved a lot financially. And I think it's not me alone, my colleagues, Yo, we are so excited. There's been a marked improvement on road safety as a result of this project. We used to read about how to cross the road in the books. But now because of the new construction of the road, Learners, what we have read, learners can see it practically and do it because there are people who are helping them to cross the road. They know they must look left, look right, look left.
gift again and then they cross that's education again. Sehamba Songke's goal of enriching lives is continuously being realized. I would like to say to the department that you have done a great job because you have created jobs for those people who are not working because you employ the very same people of the same community. They are the ones who are building the road. <laughs> we have now, I think, uh, uh, created about 200 jobs on, on this specific uh, uh, project. The important thing also is that we have tried by all means to address the issue of targets. We really appreciate what you have done and I think it's not going to be only here in Mukwena because I'm from the rural areas in Sidiba where I'm expecting this road to go and pass there. If I can tell you, I now take close to three months without going home. I wish you a good Yeah, maybe can you come more questioning. So I to worry. More, but so that we can hear more people because most of the people are coming. They want to know what's going on. 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 They want uh, if, if we, through the department, can get a bit more funds, there's a lot more, there's still more scope to, to uh, you know, on this road. And we believe that uh, by, by, by getting more funds, then at least the jobs are more sustainable, you know, they're not short term. Sihamba Sonke will continuously strive to come up with innovative ways to move the country forward. The cost to, to, to build a, a third road might be cheaper to, to build, but after 10, 15 years, when you look at the maintenance cost, the paved, paved road becomes cheaper because once you build it, it's expensive when you build it, but after 15 years, it's still the same. Whereas the third road, you keep on maintaining it, uh, the potholes keep on coming, you won't find that on the paved, paved road. It has a very long lifespan. If, as communities or South Africans, we are able to work together, we can then be able to move South Africa forward. Indeed, and this is what is happening here in Free State. Siam Basonke, the Department of Free State and Transport, Rerereale Boha, Rele Batuba Mokoyena, Pula. Siam Basonke, Siam Basonke, Rezamayang Kaufela, Kilevukile Tata, Tata, Tata. Sihamba Sonke, unlocking economic potential for local communities.